also with Lost Ark having been out in the West now for several months, many people are already starting to say that the game is dying and that it's just downhill from here. But is Lost Ark actually dying or is something else entirely going on? And I believe I have that answer. All right, big dogs, what is going on? SG Leo here. Before we dig into this one, if y'all could do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to be alerted when I upload, and then please head on over to twitch.tv forward slash SG Leo and follow me over there so you know when I'm live. You can come chat and we can play some games together. Thanks, guys. Now let's go. So ever since Lost Ark had been announced to be released in the West, many people who had been keeping tabs on this game in the Russian and Korean servers we're saying that this game was going to be the next World of Warcraft killer, or the WoW killer. Now, that is a title that is given to almost every single new MMORPG that is announced. Especially one announced by an already developed developer. So games like ESO, made by Bethesda, or games like New World, who were made by Amazon. So I do think you need to take that title with a grain of salt. But this game actually does and continues to have that potential. See, this game was already really well established out east, as stated before, so it did have quite a bit more hype behind it than a lot of the previous games like this. It also has loads of content that has yet to be released out on the west. We kind of just got our first major taste of it with the Massive May update, and with all that being said, the game did indeed come out with a bang. It sat near or at the top of Twitch and YouTube for several weeks, and it hooked a lot of players onto it. And many of the world's biggest streamers hopped on the hype trim as well. People like Asmongold, Shroud, Summit1G, and many more all jumped over this game. And so many still play it to this day. So why is it that people say it's dying? Why are so many influencers and gamers in general calling it a dead game already? And that honest answer is quite simple. See, every MMORPG has one standard to meet. And sadly, that standard is World of Warcraft. Now, that's not a bad standard to have in a gaming community. Having the best MMORPG of basically all time being the standard for your games is really good. The downside is, if the game doesn't perform as good or even better, it's oftentimes considered a flop by many. But the thing is, there is no game especially one that has only been out for three months that is ever going to be as impactful as WoW in such a short amount of time. It is going to take years of a game releasing solid updates, solid, good new content to really see who would come out on top between those two juggernauts. See, one of the big arguments I get all the time about how this game is dying is the game player rate and the Twitch views have dropped dramatically. And to that I say, that is one of the most normal things that happens to almost every single game see all the casuals who just want to play once in a while are no longer playing this game for hours a day no longer are these casuals just hopping on playing for two three hours checking out it over on the twitch streams most of them are back to playing what games they played before this and then they just dabble with this one once in a while and really only the dedicated grinders in already very popular mmo streamers have continued playing. The good side to that is that a lot of these major MMO streamers, the guys that have been playing WoW, ESO, and Guild Wars for years and have maintained a giant audience, many of them have added Lost Ark to their games list, which is a good sign. It shows that this game has content and that these people want that content. And these people have massive audiences, especially someone like Asmongold, who that guy I see constantly playing this game constantly releasing videos about it and talking about it and it's drawn a lot of attention to the game every time there's a new update you can see the viewership go up every time that there's some type of bug fix a new class is added or even just the most minuscule amount of update is added and he talks about it you can see the viewership go up because people genuinely are intrigued by this game which is a huge huge upside for this game. So I do really believe that Lost Ark is going to be a mainstay here in the West for quite some time. Like I stated, we haven't even gotten close to all of the content that this game is, has to offer. And it is still sitting as one of the more watched MMOs on Twitch and YouTube. And I think that is only going to grow. Lost Ark already is consistently above games like RuneScape, New World, which isn't hard to do, 
and it is honestly quite a bit of the time above Path of Exile, which is another big free MMORPG. And it, this game is often even neck and neck with WoW in terms of active viewers. See, all this loss in players and loss in current views is, again, very normal, especially for MMOs. Like stated earlier, many people fall off when it comes to endgame. And that's because of the pure amount of time and effort that it takes to maintain an MMORPG character. Now, obviously, your character is not going to lose his levels. He's not going to lose his gear or anything like that. But the amount of stuff you need to do to even get to the max gear score is extremely tough. It's extremely daunting. And with this game having kind of an RNG system, it makes it a lot more of a process than it probably needs to be. So it does take dedication, it does take time, and it takes a lot of effort. And some people just aren't into that. Some people want to play this game, get to the end, maybe grind it out for a little bit longer after, and then after that only tune in once in a while when, say, a new update or a new class is dropped. And that's totally fine. You see this happen with almost every single MMORPG. Even World of Warcraft, again, the biggest MMORPG ever, only sits at about 30 sometimes not even above 20,000 viewers. But the moment a new update drops, the moment a new raid boss shows up, it is a race to see who can beat it first. And there are 200, 300, 400, 500,000 viewers at times watching people endlessly try to fight a boss. And that's really, really good to see. And the same thing has been happening with Lost Ark. The moment that May update dropped and everyone could start fighting in these extra hard dungeons, People were super hyped, and that's a good sign. I think it's going to take a few years, but I think Lost Ark has definitely made an impression on people, and I think it's here to stay in the West for quite some time. Like I said, the long grinds and constant raids are going to be a lot for a lot of people, and it's going to be a deterrent for some, if not most. But Lost Ark has definitely made that process a little bit more fun than most games, and like I said, we don't, we don't even have most of the game compared to the East. So again, I say, I think Lost Ark's here to stay. I think it's only going to go up from here. And I genuinely think World of Warcraft needs to be on its toes about this one. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think down below. If you think I missed anything, or if you didn't like the video, leave a comment down below, leave a thumbs down, thumbs up, whatever. It's all greatly appreciated, so I know what needs improvement and what does not. Uh, and again, if you guys could please hit that sub button, turn on notification bells, and check me out over on Twitch. All of that is greatly appreciated, guys. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I lost my best friend to 23. She left her body and hovered above me.